Hey guys, so hopefully you just watched a short video and we saw some pictures of quilts. Now I'm gonna read you a story about a little girl who learns from her family how to make one of these quilts. It's called Stitchin' and Pullin' a G's Band Quilt. Here we go. G's Band Women. G's Band Women are mothers and grandmothers, wives, sisters and daughters, widows. G's Band Women are cooks and homemakers, gardeners, church members, choir members, leaders. G's Band Women are talented and creative, capable, makers of artful quilts, unmatched. G's Band Women are relatives, neighbors, friends, same as me. And this is the little girl who's telling the story. Who would have thought? For as long as anybody can remember, the women of G's Band have stitched up quilts to be slept on and under, sat on at a picnic, wrapped in when sick, or covered with while reading on a cold winter night. Who would have thought that one day those same quilts whoops, would be hanging on museum walls? Their makers, famous. Who would have ever thought? Beneath the quilting frame, baby girl, right here, that's me, the girl telling the story, played beneath the quilting frame on a nine patch quilt my great great grandmother and her sisters made when great grand herself was a baby girl. I can remember the warm brown faces of my mama, grandma, and great grand as they sewed, talked, sang, and laughed above my tented playground. All the while, steady fingers pieced together colorful scraps of familiar cloth into something more lovely than anything they had ever been before. Oh, how I remember. I remember mama's gentle voice singing softly, lulling her baby girl to sleep. Something else. My space beneath the quilting frame became too small for my growing legs and a questioning mind. Busy threading needles and cutting scraps, I listened and learned the recipes for 11 kinds of jelly, what to do for teething toddlers, how to get rid of mold, and the words to a hundred hymns and gospel songs, all the while waiting for my turn to make my own quilt. Where to start? Today, Grandma winked at me. There is a promise in her smile. It's your time, she says, to piece your own quilt. How did you begin your first quilt, I asked Mama. She is getting ready for work and the long drive over to Camden across the river. Look for the heart. She pulls me close. When you find the heart, your work will leap to life. Strong, beautiful, and independent. Whoops. Remembering. Mama told me cloth has a memory. I hope the black corduroy remembers that it was once the pants that my uncle wore to go vote for the first time, all clean and new. I hope the pink and green flowered tablecloth remembers the peach cobbler I spilled on it at the 4th of July picnic before my brother went off to school in Boston when we were still all together. I hope the white lace, lace handkerchief remembers how pretty my cousin looked the day she got married to Junior. I hope the dark blue work shirt remembers how hard daddy has worked all his life. If by chance the cloth forgets, I want to always remember all of it. Nothing we said. Grandma wants me to learn to quilt using the old ways, all by hand nothing wasted. Her nut brown hands gently unravel the stitches from the hem of an old red and white gingham dress. Gingham is a kind of fabric that sort of has checkers on it. And so the grandma is taking all the threads out of her old dress that's kind of, kind of beat up and old. She's taking all the threads out so that it turns into fabric that they can use for their quilt. So stitch by stitch, slowly she backs out of the dress, taking apart what she had put together long ago. Snip, snip, pull, the thread is gone, the dress falls apart. A puddle of red and white gingham on the floor. 
Now I know a patch of grandma's red dress will be the heart of my quilt. A quilt is a puzzle made of cloth. Squares of red and white gingham, solid rectangles, print ones too, dotted triangles, and a few plaids mixed in. This is plaid. Plaid is, is kind of a lot of lines and checkerboards um, with different colors. Um, ooh, flowered, I lost my place. Flowered circles and long narrow strips spread out on the floor. Now comes the puzzling. Mixing and matching colors, shapes, and patterns. Finding combinations of pieces that fit like a puzzle. Making a picture, telling a story. The River Island. Grandma says her quilts tell a story, so mine will tell one too. My story. Long strips of brown cotton border three sides of my quilt, just as G's Bend is surrounded on three sides by brown muddy waters creating a river island perfect for snakes and alligators. Remember when we looked at the map, how G's Bend was the land in the middle and the river went all around it? That's why she chose brown. And the river is really muddy and kind of a brown color. A strip of green is the fourth border. It's a symbol of the fields where my ancestors worked cotton from can to can't. Can see in the morning until can't see at night. Years of toil, that means work, years of work on the G's Bend Plantation, owned by the G family, who lived in a huge house called Sandy Hill. Above the green strip, I place six squares that form the small communities of Brown Quarters, White Quarters, Rehoboth, Sodom, Over the Creek, and Lebanon, where families with the same name are not kin by blood, but by plantation. So she's just saying that um, families who were who worked on the same plantation for the same slave owner had the same last name as the slave owner but they didn't get to have their own last name they had to have the last name of the slave owner so my last name might be the same as somebody else's last name but not because we're brother and sister but because we're owned by the same slave family being discovered a large smoke gray square stands for hard times Actually, you know what, guys? I'm not going to read this part. I'm going to save this for a different day. But anyway, the little girl is learning how to um, make the quilt. In the next art class, we'll see the end. We'll get to see how she finishes the quilt. The rest of the book gets a little bit long. Um, I'll finish it up on another day. In the next video, I'm going to show you what your art project is for today.